So first I put on my contacts, so because I tend to cry while putting my contacts in and it's going to ruin my makeup because all of this is water, uh, like water activated. And so for our yellow to really pop because I'm kind of dark, I'm not ivory skin tone, you can see I'm brown, I put a white face paint as my primer to help the yellow really pop and so now I painted my whole chest area my neck and face yellow using yellow face paint by wolf letting that dry next I'm going to be putting on my nose using black face paint by wolf effects and I absolutely love this face paint um, they have amazing black like I've said before in lots of my tutorials but anyways I'm going to be putting on my nose and then I'm going to be outlining my face um, putting my jaw bones and then also drawing any outlines that I want like my eyeballs this particular zombie is going to have extremely baggy eyes so I over exaggerate my bags for this look, I am um, just placing some lines in the middle and then going over with my other eye doing the same thing. And I have an image of my in my head what I want, so I'm just outlining my face, um, how big I want it, and not my face, my mouth area, sorry. And then I decided to add um, a little bit of scarring or ripping and tearing on the neck connecting to my mouth. So I added that and then I'm just outlining some other stuff like boobs, cartoon boobs, and some eyebrows. Next I'm going to be filling in my eyes and I mixed purple and blue together and I got this deep dark purple, I mean darker blue, and then I wanted an ombre look with my eyes, so on the top I did blue, and then the bottom I just did all purple. And even though it covered the lines, I still knew where the lines were, and so I would go back and um, recreate those bags under my eyes. So letting my eyes dry, I'm going to be filling in my mouth area, the gum parts, with pink. And I'm going to be doing quite a bit of different colors here. Um, I'm using a reference photo. So I'm using pink and just kind of filling that in. And then I'm going to go in back with my eyes since they are dry and then filling those lines in again. Before I fill in the rest of my gum areas, I'm going to be making my teeth, and this zombie is very, very bad. She has very ragged, crooked teeth, some of them are missing, so that's what I wanted, and it doesn't have a lot of teeth, so they're very just weird looking and uneven. <laughs> this girl has problems. So next, I'm going to be filling in my gum area with some black and then going in with green. And my favorite part is the touches with the lines and the dots making everything over exaggerated because that's what pop art is all about. Um, over exaggerating every wrinkle and line and this really always puts the whole look together. So I'm creating some lines around all of my effects, my mouth, my eyebrows, and then really making my face pop with some contour of the neck and jawline, creating my collarbones. Next, I'm gonna get white face paint and just creating dots because we did black dots and I want to do a little bit of contouring and contrasting, so I am going to be getting white dots and I do a clusters of three or five. And filling in my eyebrows with pink eyeshadow. Going in with NYX Ultraviolet. This is a nice beautiful purple and what we're going to do is we are going to shade our collarbones and really make our bones pop out and it looks like um, the skin is also sinking in. Uh, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I find it really, really nice effect to the collarbones, to the neck area, and stuff like that, just to make it look like the skin is actually sinking in and the bones are popping out. 
For an extra little effect, we are going to make our boob bleed, our fake boob. Um, it's a cut, so we are adding some pink blood or pink ooze coming out. And then I'm going to also be adding some green. And to really help pop this out, we are going to outline it with black. And then we are going to add some dots, some lines and stuff to help give it some, um, what is it, contrast and some texture. After I was done with this little uh, cut on my chest area, I decided to add some swirls and dots to my chest and to over exaggerate everything, um, doing a clusters of three and five. This is the finished look and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm so sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a long time. I originally wasn't going to upload this tutorial, but life had happened in the past two weeks and been super busy and I am sorry, but thank you for watching and please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.